This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Things you must do first. Templates. So you've installed Revit. You're all ready to go. You're excited about using the software. What's the first thing that you want to do? Well, I know what that is. Because when I first started, the first thing I wanted to do was this. But to get there, we do need a little bit of setup. And sometimes as well, people will start Revit and they'll say, okay, start, I'm going to go new, let's start drawing walls right away. Well, we're going to draw a wall soon, but there are just a few things that we have to set up. And the first thing is choosing the right template. So let's do that. When you start Revit for the very first time, you get a screen that kind of looks like this. And it has the projects, families, resources. Now I've opened some already, so I have a few samples here. And you'll have a few samples there as well. They may be different. But the key here is projects, that's what you're going to be making. This is the building. Families are things like windows or doors or tags. These are all things that are going to make up much of the building. And thirdly, you have resources. So there's some nice things in here. There's some what's new features. There's some help. There's some extra videos you can look at on certain things in the interface and installation. So oftentimes what people will do is go to projects, new. Now immediately, you have this new screen that you can start drawing on. And you think, okay, great, I'm going to start drawing. So you go to the wall tool. And you start drawing, but then you realize, oh, this is metric. I wanted to start Imperial. And that's where you have to pick the right template. So instead of going right to Projects New, what we're going to do is go to the Application menu. Then we're going to go to New. Then we're going to go to Project. Now it looks like you started the same as going from Projects New, but what's happened is it brings up this dialog box, and this is called New Project. And notice here it says Template File, and it's telling us what our default template is. The key here is to pick the one you want right from the beginning, and you have to decide, am I going Metric or Imperial? Click on Browse. Immediately it's going to take you into a folder structure. And you'll notice here metric templates. Well, what if I want imperial templates? That's where you can click this up one level button and find all your libraries and templates available. Go into your imperial templates and pick default. I recommend that you always start just with default. It doesn't have very much set up, just the bare minimum of what you need. But that ends up being better in the end because your building will be quite custom, of course. Click on default. Click Open. Now we're going to create a new project based upon the Imperial template. So here we are. Let's click on Wall and just confirm that, yes, it is showing Imperial units. Now you're not stuck with doing Imperial units. You can at any time type in metric units. So if I say I want to go 4 meters, I can go 4 meters. And it will automatically do the conversion for you. But you don't want to have to do that every single time you pick a direction. Generally, you're going to want it in the units that intend to build the building and the units that will be used for your construction documents. So templates have a number of things set up, and the Imperial default template has a very simple level structure set up. So if I go to Elevations, South Elevation, you'll notice that there is a level one and a level two. So are we ready to start drawing our walls? No, there's still a few more things that we're gonna be setting up. We got the first thing right, we're on the right track. We have our template. Let's talk about the next thing.